Hey, Facebookers and YouTubers, how's it going out there? Today's review, I haven't had. And I honestly can't find much about it unless I go to the Raider sites. GreatBeer.com, BeerAdvocate.com. And we know how we feel about them sometimes. But today, this one is supposed to be an Imperial Porter. It is a coffee vanilla porter. It's an Imperial Porter. Ballast Point Imperial Porter Victory at Sea. Now I heard from those sites that this is supposed to be a really good one. So I have not had it and I, I actually went to the Ballast Point um, website and I can't find actually anything on it from them there. So it must be one of those uh, um, seasonal brews that they've already done taken down off their website. I can't tell you anything about this one except for maybe, um, see if I can even find an ABV on this beer. It is 10% alcohol by volume. Um, what I did really enjoy down here is that right here at the bottom, let's see if I can point out of here, the backwards camera, right there in the little white lettering, I don't know if you can see that, right there is the actual enjoy by date <clears throat> excuse me mine says 11 26 13 so i can actually go ahead and leave this one in the fridge where i got it from almost till the end of the year but i'm not going to i want to try to clean that out there and get more in it but let's go ahead and crack this open and get into it now i don't know what you would probably drink a porter out of but i think a big glass like this would enjoy this beer right here Now, again, I don't have this cap. Yeah, I am a little fanatic about keeping the cap sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and crack it open with the quarter. Pop it open up there. Oh, a little bit of smoke coming out there. Let's go ahead and pour this straight up into here. Glass here, beer here. bit of a rising head there see if it goes all the way to the top oh there it is nice head on that one rather large I, I don't really try to pour that way all the time but this one let's have a crack at it now this is not a stout so I should be able to see some type of light through it and not through there not really through there. I'm imagining since it's a coffee stout that it's pretty much going to be a little hard to see any type of lights through there. I'm thinking maybe even if you could see any light through there, I won't get into the whole foam bit tonight. Um, you might be able to see hues of like a garnet or a ruby red. But as of right now, I'm not seeing anything through this glass um so i'm going to call it an opaque um beer or a brown beer maybe even a black beer um head on it kind of looks kind of roasty um a little bit rocky on the top looks very smooth and creamy um, I would imagine this is going to be a very smooth beer just by the, the head. Um, it actually looks a little velvety, if you will. Um, let's go ahead and go and get into the aromas because I can't see um, anything else to mention here. I can hardly see any kind of carbonation. Um, maybe, maybe a bubble or two on the sides of the glasses, but that's about it. Um, aromas. Ooh big chocolate <sighs> roasted coffee roasted malts kind of sugary like a um on the verge of like say a a hazelnut um and, uh maybe um on the verge of nutmeg um sweetness as in the scent um Maybe even on the verge of a French vanilla. 
Um, the bottle says that it's supposed to be a coffee a vanilla porter. So that's what I'm kind of guessing at. It does have that, that strong coffee scent, that strong vanilla scent. I, if it picks up in the taste, it's on cue. Cheers. Prost, my friends. Wow, very nice. You still, oh, oh, there it is. I was waiting for the bitterness to kick in, and, and it finally kicks in as it kind of washes back into the back end of your throat. Um, Big, big, bold coffee flavors. It's like a roasted coffee. You get that roastiness all the way into the back end of your throat. Um, you do very well get that vanilla out of it. Um, like I said before, it is very nice and smooth. Um, you you tend to get, if you're getting any kind of dark fruits from it, maybe like figs, dates, um, it's the sugary dark fruits um, at all. Uh, but big, bold coffee flavors. Um, again, that vanilla, it shines through real nice and easy. Um, if, if anything for hops, I will say anything hop-wise that is very um, non-bittering and earthy, very earthy notes. Um, there is a lot of earth tones to this. Uh, but again, very, very fresh dark roasted malts or dark roasted coffee. Uh, it hits the head on the nail right there for what it's calling for. Um, being a porter, it feels uh, a mouthfeel feels kind of thick. I would say medium body to um, at the lower end of a um, a heavy mouthfeel. Um, depending on how much you take in um, per drink. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of up in the air on this one. I, I do love um, coffee stouts. I, I'm traditionally not a fan of porters, but I'm really enjoying this one. Um, I, I, I tend to uh, like coffee in general. So this one right here, it, it's, it's, it's really nice. I mean, it is very pleasing. Um, I don't know if you've had this. If anybody has had this, please go ahead, uh, comment in the little boxes below. Um, again, I don't know. Um, I'll put up the brewery website in the notations and the descriptions and whatnot. Um, but I was just there just a minute ago and I cannot find a darn thing on this at their website. Um, other than that, you'll have to go to other reviews, um, the reviewer sites, um, uh, I just, I, I'm kind of like stuck on this review right now. I like it. I enjoy it. Um, if I had to give it anything, I'll give it a, um, a B plus. Um, n not because of my dislikes for porters, but my like for this one. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else that I need to say about this. Prost, my friends. Cheers. Enjoy. Stay safe. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.